Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to use the Microsoft Excel watch window feature. So this comes in handy if you want to uh, monitor various cells for changes if you have a large uh, workbook like this guy here rather than having to scroll around to find that cell you could just add it to your watch window and monitor it that way. So this will work for multiple worksheets, not multiple workbooks, but if you have multiple sheets in your workbook you could actually set up uh, monitoring cells for any one of the uh, sheets there. So let's say on this one here, if we you know if we scroll all the way down here, we have our gross sales totals and our sales totals, and we want to monitor those for changes. So all you have to do is go to the formula section, open the watch window, click on add watch, and then you can either type in the cell or you could go down and click on it. Or if you have it highlighted when you open the watch window, it should fill it in for you. So click on add. So now it tells you the workbook name, the sheet name, uh, it will do the name of the cell. Uh, I don't think it'll do names because it's a formula here, not an actual cell. So I'll show you how to do the uh, cell names in a minute here. Cell value, and then there's the value there. And if we want to add another one here, we could uh, scroll down here, add that guy. And then if we want to add something on product B, let's say we have... Profit, add watch, so now we have all these here. So if we were to go back here, let's say, let's change something here to 20,000. So watch the uh, value here, this 127, so watch the 598 here. You can see it updates to match just like that. And then you could also dock this if you don't want it floating in a way. Just drag it off to the side here. But you'll have to scroll. You know, I'm recording at a lower resolution here, so I have to scroll more. And you could also stretch it out, too, if you want to do that. So as for cell names, so let's say uh, we go back here. Okay, let's say we want the France unit sold. We want to monitor that. If you click in there, and from the formula sheet here, you can click on Define Name. Right now it's none, we call this France. You have to use uh, underscores if you want to separate things out. You can't use spaces. Like so. So now, when we click on this and add the watch, you'll see it has a name associated with that cell because it's not a formula, you know, like the ones on the bottom, which are the sum of the uh, values there. So that's why I can't name the cell. And then if we change something here, let's make sure we see the value here. It updates it just like that. And you can see this guy, uh, for these other ones, it actually shows you the formula of those cells, where this one's just a value, it's not a formula. So once again, from the Formulas tab, just go to Watch Window, and then you could add the cells that you want to watch. And also one more thing, if you have a doctor and you want to move it, you just have to make this little double arrow here. Then you could uh, drag it back. And then if you want to close it, you could just, you know, click Close from here, or close the X here, and then go back into it, and it'll, it should keep your information like that. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.